This beef looks great. Here we are at a Japanese pub that serves charcoal roasted beef. I love it. Japanese beef, wagyu. Believe it or not, this pub is actually in Bangkok, Thailand. The majority of the customers are Thai. A year and a half ago, it opened as a Japanese style pub. Their specialty dish is charcoal roasted beef. The Japanese beef wagyu imported from Japan is popular here. A lot of my friends love charcoal roasted beef, so I've started coming quite often. I only recently learned that there are lots of kinds of wagyu, like Kobe beef and Matsusaka beef. In Thailand, because of issues like BSC, the import of beef was banned twice, but it was reallowed two years ago. It's particularly popular among the affluent and the young. Only recently, the percentage of the population eating beef has been rising. As people have developed a taste for beef, it's just become more popular. Thailand, with its continuing economic growth, has also experienced continuing change regarding consumption of beef. In Thailand, there didn't used to be much of a tradition of eating beef. However, with rising incomes and changing lifestyles, consumption of beef has gone up. Here we are at a department store in downtown Bangkok. In the raw meat section over there, all types of meat are for sale. Thai beef. Even the premium grade is about 250 yen per 100 grams. Over here, we have Australia raised Wagyu based on Japanese beef. It's 1,500 yen for 100 grams of sirloin six times as expensive as Thailand-raised. More expensive still is the original Japan-raised Wagyu beef, quite pricey at 4,000 yen per 100 grams. Even still, it remains popular with its sweet and delicious marbling. Japanese beef is popular abroad, but trade on a national basis is limited to five countries and two regions. This spring, the EU also announced that it would be ending import restrictions. This has led to a lot of activity in related fields. Hida Takayama, Gifu Prefecture. There were some visitors to a beef processing facility from Southeast Asia. They're inspectors from a country considering importing Japanese beef. Our goal on this visit is to inspect the facilities. If possible, we'd like to import Japanese beef. Their purpose is to inspect the sanitation management conditions of facilities in order to determine whether or not to import Japanese beef. They're traveling various regions in Japan, visiting meat processing facilities. The inspectors check to make sure that the facilities are complying with international standards. They check on even the fine points, such as disposal of wastewater, etc. Does any blood come out of here? Wastewater all goes to a septic tank. The Japan side responds earnestly to the questions. If trade restrictions are lifted on beef, it will have a large benefit on the local economy. If their local specialty beef is exported, it will also serve as publicity for the region too. Uh, Takayama in Gifu Prefecture has a lot of visitors from overseas. Having them try our beef and attracting them as tourists is part of the plan. We'd really like to make the most of this export opportunity for PR's sake. Japanese beef comes from Japanese cattle selectively bred over generations for beef. Raising them requires a lot of effort, but because of the value added, local specialty varieties are grown in regions all over Japan. As you might expect, competition within Japan is fierce. This is Yamagata Prefecture. A brand called Yamagata Beef is raised and sold here. 
Cattle for Yamagata beef are raised long term, so they produce beef with good marbling and a smooth grain. However, they are facing the issue of export. Uh, what we call Yamagata beef takes about 33 months to bring out the full flavor. Unfortunately, we're currently prohibited from exporting anything older than 30 months, so the first thing we'd like is for them to relax that restriction. We'd like them to abolish the regulation. Because of previous issues with BSE, there is an age restriction on the export of beef. In order to increase exports, relaxing these restrictions will be crucial. With that, they are working toward the PR of having more people come to know Yamagata beef. May 2013. This is Typex, a food trade fair that meets in Thailand. In Jetro's Japan Pavilion, Yamagata Prefecture Meat Public Corporation has opened a booth. To have a lot of people get to know Yamagata beef is effective to get the restrictions relaxed and increase exports. General Manager Mr. Igarashi has been trusted with market development in Thailand to do that. Now, once again, I'm experiencing that this is a world-class trade fair. Buyers have come to the display booth of Yamagata Prefecture Meat Public Corporation. I think he's a right So tasty. Fresh up. Very nice. Very tender. Very tender. Kope, kope, huh? Uh, Yamagata. 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 Not kope, huh? No, not kope, <laughs> but famous in Japan. Same. Kobe beef and Matsusaka beef are well known overseas. Yamagata beef, which started later, will have to raise its brand awareness. A strong proponent of Yamagata is Mr. Masuda, CEO of an import company which sells Yamagata beef wholesale in Thailand. Uh, this year we're getting a huge number of inquiries from domestic restaurants in Thailand and also from other neighboring countries like Myanmar and Laos. The two cooperate to tell the buyers from all around the world the deliciousness of Yamagata beef. After trying a bite, Mr. Igarashi has received a perfect opportunity to promote Yamagata beef. He's doing a live performance in an open kitchen. I will now explain to you the deliciousness of Yamagata beef. I'll be cutting and cooking beef, so please experience the deliciousness and sweet marbling yourself. Once the beef has cooked, from all around, hands simultaneously reach out. And just like that, the meat is all gone. This is so good! Oh, very good. It's so juicy. The people who have come to the trade fair have learned of Yamagata beef's deliciousness. It looks like we can expect an increase in exports. Mr. Igarashi is all smiles. Uh, we had a great response. I was so glad to see that the customers looked so happy when they ate. In the future, I think the market will open up. I think we'll be able to do more, so I'm really looking forward to the future.